everybody, I'm Anna and this is my trusty sidekick Mookie. Today I want to talk about sheets, the best deals. I want to talk about some of these brands that keep popping up everywhere. Brooklinen, Parachute, Cozy Earth, and then just compare like the traditional Macy's Charter Club and the newer line Hotel Collection. I feel like sheets are something that we put a lot of thought into purchasing, but there actually aren't a lot of good unsponsored reviews. And this is totally unsponsored. These are my thoughts, opinions, and multiple generations of shopping tips that I've acquired from my ancestors who are all cheapos. Like they love saving money. They are allergic to spending it. Mookie, stop it. All the women in my family are really great shoppers because they love to spend money, but they also like to save it. Like it's not like they don't spend any money, but they're really allergic to spending it, especially if it's full price. Usually if there's some kind of allergy that runs in families, it's like dairy or fiber, like you all have IBS. But in my family, we're all allergic to spending money. Like I'm pretty sure I've never even seen my dad's wallet. And as a result, this has led to a lot of strategies. There's specific sales that happen every year and we'll go look at all the stock, try things on a few days before the sale, put everything that we're gonna want on hold and then dig around in the clearance to see if they've added any really good goodies. So this is a way of life as your internet friend I am gonna, you know, share some of these tips and give you my honest thoughts and opinions because the other thing about home linens is you really wanna have as many as possible and you want them to be really nice. This is especially true if you have children. Sometimes they just get sick and spoil their sheets, I don't know, eight times in a row and you do kinda wanna just have a bunch of sheets in a linen closet so you can change the sheets and deal with the mess after you've comforted whoever it is that is not feeling well. This means that you probably are not going to spend $200 on each set of sheets. Who has like $2,000 for 10 pairs of sheets? Like that isn't really very realistic and I I just feel like I am actually kind of interested in Brooklinen and Parachute, Quince, like all of these brands, because if they're worth it, especially if you're a dink, then by all means, maybe you do want to spend like $500 on sheets. There definitely are people that have that lifestyle. However, I think all the true shopping shoppers like informed shoppers know that when you want good sheets for a good deal you are going to hit up macy's and you're definitely going to go look around in their clearance section that's kind of at the back of the home goods and see what they have like the sheets that i have on my bed i just bought a new bed and i haven't had a queen sized bed so i need a bunch of new sheets these are bamboo silk they were originally $180. They were $30 in the clearance section in the store. That is not a deal that they had online. So sometimes you get better deals online, but a lot of times, especially when it comes to Macy's, you're going to probably find all the steals in the clearance section when you actually go. I actually only got one pair because they only had one in gray and they had a bunch in like a lilac color. So I told my friend and she actually was like, I need to go to Macy's. She probably bought like the last two pairs of these sheets. It is a really good deal and these are very nice. I've had bamboo sheets before and I will say that these ones wrinkle way less. They're from the Aria brand. They're made for the Aria hotels, 
but I can see why it was clearanced and it was clearanced because they're not going to continue carrying it anymore. They're super nice, but unlike lots of other sheets that are in the $180 full price price range, they didn't have very generous sizing. So like one thing that I found with Costco sheets, uh, lots of sheets that are discounted and put in Marshalls and TJ Maxx is that they actually aren't very roomy, like more expensive sheets give you ample room. They're actually wider and longer and the fitted sheet is bigger and you'll never have it just like kind of popping off the side or coming up when you're sleeping in bed. And with these sheets, I think there might have been extra shrinkage because it's actually really hard to use your dryer and know exactly how long and what temperature to dry sheets at because there's really just mainly like high, low, medium and like, you know what I mean? So it's possible that there was shrinkage, but I see why these were $30, but I'm still pretty happy with that because to be honest with you, bamboo sheets are extremely nice. And if you are going through menopause or you get really hot at night, these might be worth any amount of money that they cost because they're very cooling. They will definitely help you to not sweat as much at night. Because they're rayon, they just don't have the durability of linen or cotton. Linen, even though they're the most expensive sheets, I think potentially they're the most money saving because linen tends to get more durable and last longer the more you wash and use it. And when I was 16, I stayed with a family in France. They had this like big old house and most of the sheets came like with the house, like passed down for generations. They were literally 200 years old. And then whenever the next generation took over the house, they would buy another pair of sheets from this particular convent that had made all the other sheets that were still in the home. And you could actually take it there and have them change out like this top bit of the sheet was huge. It was actually, you know, like about this big and they would change that part every so often because that's the part that's up by your face. So it's like a lot more hygienic to, to switch it out. But anyway, like these like rich old Europeans definitely have linen because it essentially lasts for so long that they never have to replace their sheets. But personally, I'm a cotton girly and I feel like my pick are these Damask Charter Club sheets. For the price, I think they're the best. I have bought the Hotel Collection sheets and they are really nice. They're very luxurious. I think they're probably more luxurious than lots of mid-range linen sheets. And they're very thick and very durable. They probably do last for like 20 years. However, for the price difference between the Charter Club Damask and Hotel Collection, I think that the Damask sheets are much better of a buy for most people, especially if you're buying these for guest rooms, children's rooms. I would really only get to Hotel Collection for the master bedroom. And I think at that, it's a really good item to put on your wedding registry. Those are kind of like the type of sheets that you get people for their wedding. These are 550 thread count, which isn't like the highest thread count. Like it's certainly pretty decent, but wait, what makes these really good is just the thickness and the quality. I'm going to open these up um, to just show you what it's like. And let's see if they have a, yeah, they have a pillowcase. So this is like the pillowcase. You can see that it's smooth. Mm, I don't know if you can tell on camera, like the thickness, but they're, they're thick. They're a nice quality. I know a lot of people that have these and they just last your entire lifetime. And they're soft. They're made from Egyptian cotton. So they have these long strands which actually makes them much softer because when you're buying sheets, it's not just about the thread count. There's actually like different qualities of material. And so anyway, like these are very high quality. I have actually been to the Brooklyn and store in San Francisco and I have nothing bad to say, but I do just feel like, especially if you're not getting a sale, 
it's no deal. It's not something to get excited about. I do have friends who bought Brooklinen and I will say I think most of them buy the cotton sheets and not the linen. It's an influencer brand. I don't really think there's anything wrong with it, but if you're looking for an excellent product that's really worth the money, I, I highly suggest you go to Macy's if you can go in person and you want to look in the clearance section, that is some shopping that you're going to have to work for, but you'll get a deal. But I, I, for me, I got these bamboo sheets just because like I needed something and I wasn't ready to spend a ton of money. At the time, they didn't have a good sale on the charter sheets, but you know, you just wait a couple weeks and they were like 70% off. So I paid $50 and I, I bought like two sets because I do think that you should always have at least two sets of sheets for every bed in your house. One day I'll have a ma like a magical like linen closet like my mom and my grandma where there's just like a ton and you'll let other people go shopping in your house. I, I could probably like go shopping in my grandma's house but honestly she lives a little bit too far for that to be practical so I, I actually spent money on sheets. It, so that's like the other thing is like if you have this like great collection of sheets that you've bought over the years you're never buying out of desperation you're buying out of want and desire and it is time for me to start my own collection it, th this is such like a wordy thank you for sticking with me if you've stuck till the end but my verdict is that for your signature bedding sheets i personally am picking the charter club damask sheets they have these sort of like lines on them and this is the white color i will tell you from many years of clearance shopping black and white these are the least discounted items you're never going to get a great deal on sheets when they're in a white or a cream it's always when they're in an off color so i personally feel like gray is the best off color because it is a color that people pick it goes with a lot of things i think it looks good with my gray headboard you know, like, but these are all things to consider. So like, are you going to get white linen sheets on sale when linen is super, super popular? No, no, you're never going to get the white ones on sale. You might get like teal, green, gray, whatever, but no, no white. So that's the other thing is like when you get charter club sheets, you can get the white ones for like 70, 75% off. Pay $50 for a full set of queen sheets that are excellent quality that you probably aren't going to have to replace for at least 20 years, if ever. And so that's why I think that it's actually better to go to Macy's because you'll either get a really good deal or honestly, you can get sheets for not a lot that are very high quality, that are a lot better than sheets that you get at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I've learned that the hard way. I have bought several pairs of sheets from TJ Maxx that I thought were gonna be really good. Like I bought a pair of Kate Spade sheets for $40. I thought I was gonna love them. They were always like sandpaper. They never got nice, not even after like a hundred washes and I eventually threw them out because I just like didn't want them. And then I had a pair of, they were supposed to be Italian cotton, like really high quality sheets but they were, they didn't fit the bed very well and they were super wrinkly. So I'm just telling you that there probably were really good deals, but now when you go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls, you're basically getting reject sheets. And I'm, I'm sorry if that offends you. I don't want to offend you. But that's just my personal opinion. And I think that I don't know enough about Brooklinen, Parachute, Quince sheets to really give you a review. If, if you're interested in me reviewing them, I can certainly do a video. You can let me know by commenting or giving this video a thumbs up. If you give, if I get a thousand likes on this video, I'll review every brand of sheets there are. Uh, so if you want more content, please let me know. I hope this was helpful. If you have any specific questions, I would, I will answer what I know, or I can probably find the answer and let you know. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next Thursday. Bye.